In this video, we will learn about null safety in Dart. I hope we all are aware about the famous null pointer exception. So null values are bad. It may crash your application that is very very bad for your users. And that is why in Dart we have null safety. That means we will get the null checks in compile time only, which is very helpful to eliminate the null errors in your program. In Dart, all types are objects and we can assign null to any type in Dart. So for example, let's define a simple variable. For example, we have an int num and I will not assign any value to this num. If I try to print this value now, then I will get an error. Now it is saying that non-nullable local variable num must be assigned before it can be used. So I cannot use a variable before assigning a value to it. Now if I try to assign null to this num, then again I am getting an error. Because this int here is a non-null value. And by default in Dart, all values are not null. That means you cannot assign null to a variable. It will expect a value only and not a null value. But if you want to assign null, then you need to be explicit about this thing and you need to tell the compiler that hey, I want null for this variable. And to do this, you can use question mark after the data type. And now you can see the num is nullable and we can assign null to this num and we can even print the num now. If I run the code, I will get null because the value is null. Now you can even assign an actual value to this num. For example, I have assigned 10 to this num. So this question mark means this variable can accept null or values. So this is how we need to be explicit about null values in Dart program. Now for example, let's say we will define a function and we have a function, let's say print square and this function accepts an integer. So we have int num and here this function is accepting a not null int. That means we cannot pass null values to this print square function. Now let's try to pass this num to this print square. You can see it is working absolutely fine because here we have assigned a value to our num. But what if I comment this line where I am assigning a value to num. Now I am getting an error and you can see the argument type int can be assigned to the parameter type int. Because here we have a nullable int and here we have a non-nullable int. And that is why we cannot pass num to this print square function. I will also complete this function. Here I will print num into num, that is the square of the value. Now let's come back to our situation. So here we have a nullable int, the value is null and that is why here we cannot pass this num because the value is null and it accepts only non-null values. So to fix this thing, we have three options. The first one is, we can write a null check here. So if num is not equals to null, print square like this. This time we will not get any output because this num is null and this function is never called. But if I uncomment this line, in this case, I will get the output. You can see we are getting 100 because this time this num is not null and this function is called. Now let's comment this line again. And I will remove this if because this was the first way. The next way to fix this situation is we will tell the compiler that hey don't worry this value is not null. And we do it with the help of this exclamation operator. Now this time we are telling that this value is not null. But the problem here is the value is null for this num. And we are telling the compiler that hey don't worry the value is not null. So you should use this operator only when you are 100% sure that the value is not null or else your application will crash. Let's see if I run the code now, our program is crashing. You can see we have an unhandled exception, null check operator used on a null value. 
because this value is null here we are getting an exception in our code this exclamation mark is same as writing if num is not equals to null the difference is if the value is null it will throw an exception so the first way was to check the null value using if the next way was to use this operator and the last way is to use double question mark and pass a default value for example in this case if the num is null we will pass 2 to this print square function now let's run the code again and this time we are getting 4 that is square of 2 so that's all for this null safety feature of dart i will see you in the next video thanks for watching